whosoever hears this audio, if they be worthy, shall possess the insight, human, and superhuman abilities of the world's mightiest metahumans. Accompanying this journey of high quality nerd commentary, you got my man Colton, aka Pizza Parker. Talk to the people. It's your boy Colton, aka I'm wearing a tuxedo right now. <laughs> you know what time it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We also have the greatest engineer across all planes of existence, my son Gas. Say what's up? Yo, yo, what's up? Yeah. And uh, you know who it is. You know who it is. It's the genies. You know who it is. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Dennis, a.k.a. Old Dirty Denim, a.k.a. Martin Luton Rings. I have a scheme, a.k.a. 21 Cuffs, because that's how far up I roll my jeans, nigga, a.k.a. a.k.a. Roddy Roddy Wranglers, a.k.a. Mean Jeans Oakland, a.k.a. Billy Jean, a.k.a. DJ Cuffmaster Flex. Now listen, New York. Be clear. <laughs> <laughs> What you just heard is what we call motherfucking jeans creases, nigga. You don't know nothing about that. Go, go into your local jeans store. Put your hands on all the jeans. Their jeans is yours now. Be clear. Their boot cuts is yours now. Yo, welcome to another issue. Of the final issue of 2022 of the Mighty Meta Humans podcast. Fellas, what's going on? It's the genies, bro. Oh, I'm feeling great, man. Yeah? <laughs> I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. Yes, yes. How you feeling, Gas? No, I mean, we made it to the end of the year, bro. Pretty good. Chilling, you know. Yeah? I feel you. I feel you. So, um, if you're a first-time listener, this is our year-end wrap-up. You know what I mean? We give out awards. You know what I mean? We, we, uh, we put on the tux. We put on the suits. We look good. Clean up. You know what I mean? And we present a couple of awards to a couple of people who... A Canadian uh, tuxedo. <laughs> we, uh, you know, yeah, you know, we give out a couple of awards. The first award is uh, our Gene Lantern Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is a very prestigious award. We give it out every year to somebody that's just, you know, upper echelon of, like, the Gene Lantern community. You know what I mean? Worthy of the blue cuts. Yes. So this year, we have a very special award because, unfortunately, this person isn't here to That's accept this award. But they are a Gene Lantern legend through and through. Like, regardless if they hear next universe, next lifetime, whatever, like, they're always... They're, they're a legend in the community. You That's know what I mean? Fact. So uh, we'd like to give this Gene Lantern Lifetime Achievement Award to the GOAT. My nigga, Tommy the Green Ranger, a.k.a. Jason David Frank. You know what I mean? R.I.P. R.I.P., bro. R.I.P. Feel me? He deserved this award as a person who is a bootcut icon, fashion icon in our lives. Also an icon for us growing up, especially with the Power Rangers. Yes. Uh, He's already won multiple awards. Of course. And has gotten multiple (laughs) shout-outs throughout this, uh, throughout the show. Yes. And, uh, yeah, like he totally deserves this award. Shout out Tommy the Green Ranger, one yes. of the first guys to show me how to whoop ass. Hutsi, and he beat up his own homies and then Yo. became homies with them. <laughs> it's lit. He he fucked them up until they became friends with him. They Yo, had no that's choice. A fact. <laughs> Real nigga shit. <laughs> RP, uh, congratulations to Jason Facts. David Frank. You know, we're gonna put the applause here. Yes, 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 yes. So um, all right, so we're gonna get started with the official awards. Yes, you know what sir. I mean? So uh <clears throat> Would you like to go first? Would you like to you set it up? First, I'll first. set us off. Okay. So the first, yeah, that makes sense. The first uh, award is the surprise motherfucker award. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> the surprise of the year. Things that happened that made us go, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. uh, here's the nominees for the surprise motherfucker award. One, Lightyear. Actually being a pretty good movie. Actually a good movie. <laughs> I enjoyed that shit. Uh, Dragon Ball Hero, mm. Gohan and Piccolo actually being stars in a movie. Oh my god! <laughs> it only took fifty something fucking movies. Who, who would have known? <laughs> we're Goku and Vegeta. We're backside characters, and like these things were not the stars of a movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me, I am actually nominated. <laughs> me. <laughs> yes. Uh, for actually watching and enjoying One Piece. Oh shit, my boy is a One Piece. Yo, one I'm a One Piece. <laughs> uh, Kanye oh, for finding God. out that he's still a nigga in the coop. <laughs> oh man, Jesus Christ. Oh uh, man, and uh, they found the J.P. Morgan boat. Quote air quote on quote quote, and uh, finally, 
Killmonger for coming back and dropping science and why he did what he did. <laughs> oh, shit. So uh, who do you guys have for winning this award? Who do you think pulls it out out of all these uh, prestigious nominees, deserves it above all else? Hmm. Who gets the oh shit? Dang. Me? I'm going to say J.P. Morgan Chase, bro. <laughs> I will also say the J.P. Morgan Chase, bro. It's, my because, nigga, it's okay, 22 could, tons could of through, coke. I could go through <laughs> explanations, like, right? Lightyear mm -hmm. was a realistic depiction of who Buzz Lightyear is supposed to be. So mm -hmm. while it ended up being a good movie, I was just like, I, I guess I could have seen that coming. Right. Dragon Ball Heroes, they were really hyping up Gohan and Piccolo, and they actually went through with it. So surprisingly. I feel like it's not, I feel like that's, that is kind of surprisingly, but yeah. it's not that surprising. You watching One Piece <laughs> as a biased person that likes One Piece, I feel like at some point you would have came through to the to the winning side regardless. <laughs> Kanye West, as a nigga who was a stand of Kanye West, I absolutely seen this happen. <laughs> I absolutely seen it happen. And he didn't get the help he needed. <laughs> Killmonger uh -huh. was probably my other one. Yeah. But the JP Morgan boat, like it's 22 tons, bro. And then they saying it belongs to Xbox. Yo, like get the fuck out of here! With Twenty-two that shit. tons. Of I'm coke. just surprised that they said that they found it. Yo, That's exactly. It. It, we talked about it on this podcast. It's like it's several times, nuts. right? Like so. Yes. Yeah, so I, 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 I can agree. And uh, shout out to JP Morgan Chase for winning the genies. <laughs> Yo, dead ass. Y'all got a genie. Y'all never thought y'all would. Y'all never thought. You know what I mean? Surpri Congratulations on your surprise, motherfucker. Con uh, Congratulations. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on to the next award. So I'm going to move on to this next award. Oh, yes. wait. Hold on. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Okay. Well, oh, okay. Well, uh, 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 we'll keep going. Uh, Don't worry. Oh, shit. I'm here. Oh, shit. Is, is that the night? Is the night deviant here for the yeah, genies? Just, I just seen that bitch ass nigga Colton leave. Oh, come on. He just and went I to the bathroom. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to do this award. Okay. Because yep. it's named after me. That's the only reason. <laughs> Please. The Devoted Deviant Award, aka mm. the Night Deviant Nasty Award. <laughs> so, you know, this only goes to the nastiest people, <laughs> the most gross people. But, you know, some of the things some of these people do are kind of illegal. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be very honest. Really? So, let's. Give us the nominees. Let's do the nominees. The first nominee, Himeno from Chainsaw Man for trying to smash Denji when she <laughs> yeah, was that drunk. Was that was pretty He's 16. He's 16. He's a kid. Not only that, she's fucking gross. Yeah, that was pretty, yeah, she was wild. But she needs to hit me up. <laughs> no spoilers. I'm not going to say any spoilers. <laughs> the second, the Night TV. Oh, wow. Wow, you were nominated. The wow, Night TV and having an assorted of mechanized dick attachments. So, absolutely. <laughs> Please listen to the show to get Please that reference. Please listen to the Night TV podcast to understand that. Number three. Wow. Another surprise. Gas. <laughs> Gas saying a little bit of dick riding is okay. It's <laughs> a pretty, was, pretty amazing, he, nasty quote. Wrong. It's a nasty, amazing quote. You know what, Gas? If you don't win this award, I'll give you your own award. Hey, yo. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> or. I got to look. Not like that, though. Or. <laughs> next award. The Night Dennis. Oh, yeah, that literally the entire episode. Of yeah, yeah, he was wilding. I listened to that a few times. Yeah. I like it. I need to meet that guy. <laughs> he was guy. wilding. He was wilding. I need to meet that guy. Maybe you will. He's a good guy. <laughs> and then the last one and final. Oh, wow. Last but not least at uh -huh. all. Ezra Miller. Hey. For the last two years. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah. They were wild. They were pretty wild. And the winner is, I mean, if if I had to choose for uh, real. Please, I mean, I it's named like after you. I'm the nastiest, but there's one guy that, well, not even guy. There's one they, them that tops all of the charts. <laughs> the non-binary demon himself. <laughs> themselves. Ezra Miller. Wow, clap it award. up for Ezra Miller. And not only that. He's so nasty for the last two years. Even though this award didn't exist last year, we're going to give him one for last year also. Oh, so he gets two yeah. awards. They get two. They he, get two. <laughs> they get two nasty awards. Ezra, congrats on your two nasty awards. <laughs> and we hope they stop you somehow. Or you stop them, please. I please can't. stop them. That's it. I'm going to be honest. This is the only person that has way more nasty points than I do. <laughs> 
Well, please climb it up for Ezra Miller. Thank you, Ezra Miller. Thank you for participating. Wait, and did I miss you, the, and, did and I miss thing? the did I miss did I miss something? Oh man, you just missed the night deviant. You just you was taking somebody. I was like, who the fuck are you yeah, taking? Man. Nobody's sitting here. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, well, I, I don't know. He disappeared into the darkness, but uh shout out to the night deviant for well, I never uh, meet pr- him. Yo, yeah, never. Like <sighs> unfortunately. Maybe he's in the back. Maybe he's in the back. All right. All right. Uh the next Oh, this is oh, the issue. Yeah, the next <laughs> the next award is called the Petty Goat. Now, all these people were petty on some level. Mm-hmm. But who was the most inconsiderable out of all these people? Mm-hmm. And the nominees are Kevin Feige, a.k.a. No More Inhumans. This nigga killed off Black Bolt, <laughs> made Kamala a mutant, <laughs> just said fuck ABC in Big general. Facts. Like, yo, just... He said we all need I him. don't care. I mean, uh, the next nominee, Twitter. Pursuing mm. Elon <laughs> into buying Twitter. Forcing him to buy Twitter. <laughs> even though he was trying to troll. Yo, the next petty goat, which is pretty crazy, is uh, the Supreme Court. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> for literally trying to stomp on abortion rights and gay marriage. Them they're niggas best. is petty. They're, they're the worst. Next on the list, Warner Brothers for not <laughs> acknowledging the Snyder Cut's existence. That's a fact. <laughs> Continuing down that rabbit hole. Discovery CEO canceling DC content. <laughs> oh my gosh, keep going. <laughs> this rabbit hole is crazy. The next, DC hiring and firing Henry Cavall within a span of like a month. Goddamn. And finally, James Gunn for benching The Rock after all that hierarchy of power talk. Honestly, I, I feel like we could just give it all to DC. Four through seven. <laughs> All the winners. <laughs> They're all the same people. It's all the same people. They're all These making the same decisions. Up. You know what I mean? And then The Rock, but still, let the record show, The Rock wasn't wrong. It's just James Gunn is at the top <laughs> of the DC hierarchy. Now. Broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to DC, man. You guys win. You know what I mean? Clap Warner up for Brothers, DC. DC CEO, DC and James Gunn. Congrats to all congrats, of you guys for, for getting four awards. Wow, most, amazing. And one award show. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? All right. So, we're going to move Take on us to, to the, the next, next award. And we like to call this the Scarlet Witch Award. Mm. We are tired of these people. <laughs> we don't need any more of this. Yes. It's enough. No more content. We, we snap. We getting it. We using the hex to yes. get these things out get of existence. Get them shits the fuck out of here. We got to choose. Yes. Give me the nominees. The nominees are number one, Taiko Watiti. Taiki Watiti. <laughs> the Thor films. We don't need no more. I'm sorry. We don't need no more. Number two, Avatar sequels. <laughs> Facts. Now, and we're not talking about The Last Airbender. We're no. talking about James not Cameron two, here. Not two. Don't do that. We talking Don't about James that. Cameron. No. Relax, relax, <laughs> relax, nigga. Relax, nigga. You fucking relax, nigga. We don't need that. But uh, number three, CW hero shows. Yeah, you get them shits out of here, bro. Like, it's come done. on, man. We're Which we're one? tired. The rest of them. Yes. <laughs> whatever, whatever, left. whatever they want to make up now. Like, no, don't well, do that. Ones. Yeah, get them out of here. Get that shit out. Number of four, here. Jurassic Park. Please. Jesus Christ. Please. Please. <laughs> Number five. Directors using the MCU for attention or a rollout. Yes. Put, put your own. Just put your just movie put your out. Movie don't out, even talk bro. about it, man. Just put it We're out. We're tired of that. Like, no more of it. We're fucking tired. Yo. But what do you think? Because I think it's a two-way tie. <laughs> I think um, it, it's a two-way tie. I think it's a no, three, no fuck. I don't the, know. The idea of no more content, like, please. I don't want... All right. So let me let me just preface this with, I don't hate Taika Waititi's other films. But lock him away. Like, put a restraining order from him against Marvel, bro. Like, I don't want him doing anything Marvel anymore. But please stay away. I say don't pick him because I don't think he's doing Thor films anymore. Okay, okay, good. So, so that's good. already like kind of disqualified All right. itself. Right? All right, so next is three-way tie. Three-way tie three for me. Three-way tie. 
Avatar got to get the fuck out of here. Avatar, uh, like, oh. CW shows, and Jurassic Park. I don't fuck with blue niggas that's not Talocon or Crips. I don't go out of room. Avatar, care, bro. the CW shows, the new CW shows, yes. and Jurassic Park. Get Jurassic Park, Park the fuck out of here, bro. These three things just don't need to exist anymore. Please. I'm sorry. I love dinosaurs. We can make other dinosaur movies. Yo. It doesn't have to be Jurassic Park. Yeah, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. And the CW hero shows, pack that shit up. Nobody asked for Gotham Knights or whatever y'all bro, make my it. Son, my son is tired of running. Like, it's the nine seasons like let him rest now let him walk he wouldn't want to walk let the nigga walk son Shit he don't want to run no Shit more son. so uh yeah i guess it's a three-way tie yeah three-way three -way tie. tie well Damn, hey. there's a lot of ties yo Which hey hey multiple awards clap it up for these clap niggas it up for these <laughs> niggas here you go avatar you know james mean? cameron cut it out uh, Can you CW hero shows cut it out. Shout Anybody who makes Jurassic Parks cut it out. <laughs> shout out to James Cameron for winning an award for his movie. Yo, <laughs> he, won't shut, he won't shut the fuck up about he this. Won't, <laughs> he'll never shut the fuck up about it. He might bring this up. Yeah. <laughs> Which would That's be a great. fucking fact. Because I hate, I hate you, nigga. I hope you're listening. I hate you, and I hate your Avatar movies. Those shits fucking suck. Your white savior ass, nigga. Nigga, think he a white savior so bad. You turn white people into the press yo, to, to do some sick that's fantasy, literally what you they, sick fuck. Yo, that's literally what you they did. sick son. fuck. You, you took... Native American people's <laughs> alien bodies made your own and became the oppressed, you sick yo. fuck. <laughs> We're going to put a pin in that because we're going to cover that next year. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> so the next award, the very special award, know what oh, I mean? Yes, sir. I love very, this award. Very, very special award. It goes to our one and only, the greatest engineer of all time. Yes, sir. Know what I mean? Our son, Gas. We like to call this best intro greeting. You know what I mean? A man of very few words, but of great importance. So the nominations are, yo, yo, what's up? Mm-hmm. That's a good one. What's up? What's up? Oh shit. <laughs> what's going on? What's good? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Yo, yo, yo. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that last one gotta get it. That last one gotta get it. The whisper, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he, that's the one. yo, the way he freaked it for the ASMR episode, yo, that's yes, kinda sir. crazy. It was you know what fucking mean? fire. I think that's like ASMR. Niggas ain't see that yeah. coming. Number, number four. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, yeah. guys. Congratulations. Clap it up for gas. Yes, sir. Clap it up for yes, gas. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to one that I pretty much enjoy, and this might be hard, like between the three of us, but uh Animated film of the year. Mm, okay, now we now we kind of cook it with some grease. We going kind of crazy this time. <laughs> so, the first nomination is Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Ooh, okay. The second one is Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Mm -hmm. The third is Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: oh, The Movie. That was tough. That was tough. The fourth one is Sonic the Hedgehog Two. Also, that tough. was tough. The fifth one is One Piece Red. Okay. Also, also tough. And the last one, which is a sleeper in my yes. opinion, is Batman and Superman Battle of the yes. Super Sons. Yes, yes, yes. Woo, that's a tight. <sighs> I'm going to let Gas start it off. He won the last award. Which yes. one of those do which you think deserves? Jutsu Kaisen Zero, Dragon Ball Z Super, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, One, one Piece, Piece Red, or Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons? Who you got winning? Jujutsu Kaisen was like crazy. Mm. Who do you have? Damn, I want to go with that, but I kind of want to give a sleeper pick and go with Rise of the New Ninja, uh, the Ninja Turtles. That was hard. And you man. know what? That was hard. That was hard as fuck. fuck. Niggas didn't see that movie coming. And it, you know what? That shit was crazy. I'm gonna have to go with Ninja Turtles because, Woo! like, it's crazy because Jujutsu Kaisen was fucking amazing. Yes, but that Ninja Turtle movie slapped me in the fucking Yo, face. Yo, I didn't I see did it coming, not... son. Expect it to be that good. Yo. And it was on Netflix, which, yeah. you know. Yo, it was that good. That was an amazing movie. It was movie. good, yo. I, I will give it to we, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yo. without odds. With a, right, like, these are amazing movies. Yo, that's what I'm saying. It's not like, you know, Jesus anybody Kaiser really got was. second place. It would have these, these won. These were but, great movies, but that, yeah. I didn't see that coming. And that was really fucking good. All right, so Rise of the Teenage yo. Mutant Turtles. Yo, clap it up for the Ninja Turtles. Shout the out. Black Ninja Turtles. Please, like yes, yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, unfortunately, they're not here. Now I mean, yeah. to accept their award, we're going to leave it by a sewer. But they'll come <laughs> back. We'll they'll give get it to it. Pizza Rat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll come pick it up. Um. So the next award. <laughs> One of my favorites. We call this award the Pepe Le Pew Award of Funk, a.k.a. Stinker of the Year. You know what I mean? 
Ooh. Now, all of these stunk on some level, but <laughs> one of them just rose to the top. You know what I mean? All right. And the nominees are Jurassic World Dominion. Boo. <laughs> Continue. Halloween Ends. Oh, brother, <laughs> this movie stinks. The Book of Boba Fett. What the fuck does he even do? <laughs> Death on the Nile. <laughs> so much champagne, you can drown the Nile. Or whatever the fuck she said. Oh, fuck that shit. Moonfall. <laughs> Listen, superhero movies ruin shit. So here's a super disaster movie that I fund all on my own, nigga. And lastly, Morbius. It's fucking Morbid it's time. Morbid nigga. Time, it's Morbid time, nigga. Morbid time. All so right. I open it up to to the fellas. What is the stinker of the year, bro? Stinker of the okay. fucking year. So I'm gonna go through the niggas who I don't think are stinkers. Okay. They're all stinkers. <laughs> but we're going to put it in terms of, I am a terrible movie connoisseur. <laughs> he so is. So I'm going to put this in, in ranking. Yeah. Morbius is at the top of these terrible movies. <laughs> it's the best terrible movie out of all of them. Fact. The Book of Boba Fett is <laughs> is actually above that, only because Mando and yes, is in it. I was just right? about to say that. And yes, then it's Morbius. It. Then I'm putting Moonfall because it's such a ridiculous movie that doesn't make any sense, but I still enjoyed it. Now, we have left (laughs) Jurassic World Dominion, Halloween Ends, and Death on the Nile. I hate Gal Gadot, and I feel like she shouldn't have jobs, but we're going to take Death on the Nile off. I'm following you. We're going to take Death on the Nile off. Yes. So now we're left with Halloween ends and Jurassic Park World. Please give Jurassic me an opinion because I already know what mine is. <laughs> and I didn't see Jurassic World Dominion. Okay, but I did see Halloween ends, <laughs> and that shit was ass. Yo, <laughs> so Halloween ends. Listen, listen. It's between that and Jurassic World. Our, I'm, before I give you Halloween mine, ends, is uh, ass. gas. Have you seen either one of these to just? Give us a, a you seen couple Jurassic words, World, uh, the last Jurassic Park. Before I jump in the Or the last uh, Halloween movie. Aren't all the last Jurassic Parks the last Jurassic Park? <laughs> Yo, they always say that, and then it's another one. And okay, it's ass. Some old, what, what was this one? This was the OD craze, the super, super Triceratops, whatever the fuck it was. I don't know. Bro, I think it, it was, was some shit where everybody like, from every Jurassic Park it was, was in. It was Jurassic World yes, Endgame. Every, and, and then they had some OD. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, then yeah, that one. That one. So, the only reason I'm not going to go with Jurassic World is because Halloween Ends is a movie that exists. Halloween and ends sucks. that is probably the worst movie I have seen all year to the I'm point crying. where I was upset that I saw it for free. Yes, I'm admitting I'm on this crying. podcast that I pirated this movie in my home <laughs> and, and, you're and still I was upset. pissed. <laughs> I was okay. fucking pissed, bro. The movie you, sucked. you paid for any of these movies? Uh no, exactly. but I was so that like, pissed. I was that pissed. I I I paid with time, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga lost time to that movie. I feel it. I think Halloween ends wins this one. Yes, uh, that boot up one time suck. for these niggas. Boo. Boo. The movie's ass. <laughs> All right, so we can move on to the next one. The next one is multiversal cinema. Yes, year of the multiverse. Who had the best? Multiversal thing. Mm, okay. Now, number one, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Mm. Then we're going to move on to Teen Titans Go and DC Supergirls Mayhem in the Multiverse. Okay. Then we're going to go on to Spider Man No Way Home. Mm, okay. Then we're going to move on to Everything Everywhere All at Once. Okay, okay. And then finally, the Mighty Metahum is the multi pod of madness issue. Wow. 56 to 51. Okay, okay. So, Gas, what you thinking? Who had the best multiversal Multiverse. like story this year out of all those uh choices? Doctor Strange, Teen Titans, Spider-Man, everywhere, everything, everything everywhere, everywhere all, at once, all at once, or us. Well, us. Uh, uh, aren't we gonna give it to us? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be humble, but <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we went Yo, way beyond. Nah, we went crazy. Bro. Whatever like, level of that. Nah, it, I mean, we opened a whole Yo, name another pod that have multiverse. You know what? Man. You know what? To be fair, 
We'll give it to ourselves and everything everywhere all That's at a fact. once. That was a fact. That was a fact. These are that was that everything was everything everywhere all at once movie wise was the best one. Yes. That was but we cinema. also we killed that shit. Killed now whatever I mean. uh, storytelling <laughs> in the multiverse was. We did, yeah. we invented that. You know, we created. We, we went back in time and changed it, and now we own it. Like we. So now we'll uh, we'll share this award with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, who was shitting on superhero <laughs> movies immediately. <laughs> And my boo, uh, Michelle, yo, what's yes, up? Sir. How you doing? Yes, sir. Shout out the gang. Here. Yes, sir. Clap it up. Clap us. it up. And, Clap um, it up. Word. We're both so creative. Yes. This is Thank amazing. You. Thank you so much, us. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Dennis. Thank you, me. <laughs> All, right. All right. So uh, next on our list is the superhero slash graphic novel series of the year. Mm-hmm. Now, before we get into the nominees, I will like to give Ooh. an honorable mention to uh, Titans. Yes, sir. Which, while it isn't finished, it's been pretty, pretty. It's been pretty good. good. It's, it's been pretty the best good. season so far. But it was impossible to put it on this list because it's not it's done. You know what I mean? So I'll give you the nominees. <clears throat> the nominees are The Boys season three, The Sandman, mm. All of Us Are Dead, She Hulk, Attorney at Law, Peacemaker, Umbrella Academy, Miss mm-hmm. Marvel. Who do you think deserves superhero slash graphic novel series of the year? I know what my pick it's is. Between the boys and Sandman to me. Yes. Yes. For me, it's probably Sandman. That but shit. Sandman. I don't like, even think there was a ended shit. So yeah. Sandman, yeah. It doesn't feel like I don't even have a flaw for it. You know what I mean? Like it yeah, was just Sandman it was just it. good. It was just fucking good. Sandman got it. You know what I mean? Yo, I don't even feel like we needed to discuss congratulations that. Congratulations to the to the to the to the GOAT. Yeah. It's Neil Gaiman. Neil right? Gaiman. Yeah. Yes, sir. Congratulations thank you, thank for you, y'all thank winning you for that. that. Sandman, I mean, that was amazing. They even gave us an extra episode like yeah. a week later. Them niggas was killing us. It's so good. They deserve, they deserve it. Thank you. It was, it was too easy. I so, want you to do the next one, too. Uh, yes, yes, yes. This one, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite awards. We do it every year. You know what I mean? It's yes, always sir. a pleasure. And it gives us a chance to go down memory lane. You know what I mean? So this award is Colton's Take Us Home Award. Okay. <laughs> I don't be remembering these. I just say things. <laughs> so uh, we're going to give you uh, the nominees, and we're going to try to pick... Me and Gas are going to try to pick a winner. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The nominees are... <laughs> the Bullshit Sounds in Love and Thunder Every Eight Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them goats. <laughs> we Should Tell Him the Truth. Professor X about to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, buy that. Buy that, man. Collect that. Get that. As long as it ain't booty and it's consensual. Colton. <laughs> when did I say that? What was I t- in what context was I talking about? I could cuckoo this all day. Oh, man. Captain America as a pigeon. Oh I mean, God, I'm, I'm clever. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, the next on the list, they think I'm hiding in the darkness, but I'm moaning in it anytime I see Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> the Night Deviants. A <laughs> <laughs> fucking Night Deviant. And uh, finally, everyone keeps telling me about Boba Fett as a badass. <laughs> But what has he done, really? <laughs> yo, that's not even a me quote, which is hilarious. <laughs> nigga was like, yo, I feel it. You hate that nigga. That's hilarious. Me, but Colton quoting me. <laughs> and the winner is, Gas, who do you have out of that illustrious list? <laughs> uh, we got to give it to the Night Demon. Night Demon. <laughs> this nigga's killing the night, Oh, man. my God. The Night Demon won two awards tonight. Yo, clap it up for the Night Demon. <laughs> oh, my God. That nigga going crazy, son. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, take us to the next one. So we're going to do animated series of the year. And this one is highly Mm. touted. This shit is actually kind Mm. of... um, Yeah, we might have to talk about that. Go ahead. It's kind of tough. It's also missing something. Okay, throw something in there. Okay, but this is going to be Mega Mad Dog. It's going to be Animated series of the year. Chainsaw Man. Mm. Harley Quinn season three. Mm. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Okay. Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, Intergalactic, which was actually really good. Mob Psycho One Hundred, going crazy. Attack on Titan, <laughs> Erin the Goat, Demon Slayer Entertainment District. Yeah, Art. they were going kind of crazy and with that. Arcane. 
<laughs> God damn, nigga. That's what this, it, <laughs> Who the has fuck? To, it has to be a part of that. Like, God damn. Like, very, um, like, I'm going to let Gas lead this one because I need another minute you, to think. <laughs> I think some of those that I don't deserve the award. Mm, so but who what, does? So who does? Who does? Out of all those... uh uh uh, Well, okay. So then let's start off with that. Start knocking on ones off that don't deserve okay, it. Okay, Bleach we, don't deserve it yet. Bleach okay. don't deserve not it yet. yet. I'll also knock that off. Chainsaw Man's not done yet. Chainsaw Man... But it it does... Does deserve, not... It but, do like, maybe, it's not done yet. It's not maybe, done yet. Maybe. Mob Cycle can be a possibility. Mob Cycle could definitely be up there. Okay. Uh, Arcane can be a possibility. Arcane definitely is up there. Cyberpunk's definitely up there. It is. Um... You Cyber can take Polycorn off. Cyberpunk, you might have to just give it to Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, yeah, I think Cyberpunk, yeah. Mm. But also, if if you talk about earlier, Arcane. Arcane, Arcane also, though. Arcane was really Cyberpunk good. Cyberpunk and Arcane. I feel like y'all sleeping on Attack on Titan. I don't like that. Attack on Titan, it's good. But that, Arcane and that, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk kind of like I'm not going to say it out. deserved the win. But no, no, I'm not saying that it's on the list. We said it's swept on the list, but I don't think it. But I don't really think wrong. it wins. I think uh, we give this to Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, and Arcane. Mm, in my opinion. Damn, look at games stepping it up, son. Cyberpunk, all right, yo, games have Game, games came stepping a long up, way. Cyberpunk and Arcane can win Ooh, this award. Okay, okay, shout but out. I would go more to towards Cyberpunk to be. I was, I was going to lean towards more, but no. But shout out to shout out both. Shout out video gaming. Yeah. Just, just, just gaming in general, man. Like coming so y'all. far. Come Woo. on, man. We love that. No, nah, I mean, I like it. All right, move on. All right. To the next so, uh, the next one: best live action adaption in either a series or movie. Mm-hmm. Long list here. And the nominees are Andor, mm-hmm. House of the Dragon, Kenobi, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Sandman. Moon Knight, The Boys, All of Us Are Dead, and Werewolf by Night. Who do you have winning? <sighs> to me, it Sandman gotta, wins again. It gotta be Sandman. <laughs> Sandman, House of was the again. Dragon. Sandman wins again, bro. Like, y'all give it to Sandman? Yeah, yeah man. Y'all I got like it. how it ended? Huh? Y'all like how it ended? But not. Yeah, I like I like how Sandman is going. Yes, they still I, have more, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We get another season. So, I'm yeah, fucking I like with Sandman. it. I think Sandman or House of the Dragon. When it comes to like live action, like adaptation, like they killed that. But, like, yeah, I, I think Sandman probably. It's hard for me to all of House of the Dragons, and I might give it to them. House of the Dragon was good. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Like it was yeah. good. Sandman though, I just, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power is really good too. Nah, I enjoyed it. I didn't even see it. But I think I think House of the Dragon is better than Rings of Power. But I still got Sandman winning. Like Sandman if I had wins to pick this something, one, yeah. I just Sandman got this. They killed out of it's everything on that the, list. It is probably the best live adaptation, probably besides Lords of the Ring. But I haven't fully gotten into that. Yeah. So, so uh, I Sandman. mean, hey, hey, Neil, Shout get, out back Neil man, get back award. up here. Get back up here. Come get it. Damn award. Let's I mean? get it. All right, now we're going to go to one of the most highly touted awards oh, yes. of all time. The Game of the Year Award. Mm-hmm. Which hero game was just leagues above all the others? You're, perfect. Have, You're the perfect person for this. Please. And we only have five nominations. Mm. And it starts with God of War Ragnarok. Whew. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. We streamed that. That was good. Elden Ring. <sighs> Horizon Forbidden West. Mm-hmm. And Stray. And Stray. Okay. Okay. Damn. All right. Uh, I'll give you my pick, and that? it's going to be... Uh, it, it was a two-way. One, Elden Ring. I'm playing mm-hmm. that now. That game is really good. It's, it's hard as fuck, yeah. but it's mad good. And second, Nostalgia, Ninja Turtles, bro. Like, that shit was fun. Yeah, we had I, people pop in. You know what I mean? And Ninja Turtles. Hey, that's why I I'm haven't uh, really gotten to Ragnarok that crazy. It looks good. You know, it's an amazing game. But of course, Elden Ring brought me into a world that I hate, <laughs> and I and I enjoy it. Yes. And then Ninja Turtles, like that, just the co op with the homies. We yes. played it. That, that shit, shit was is good. amazing. So Elden Ring and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles get it for me. <laughs> I wanted to give it to Stray because I love that game personally, but. 
it's 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 Elden Ring was like Elden Ring way bro. crazier. It's so Elden Ring and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, congratulations! Hey man, congratulations! Award. Please come up. Know what I mean? All right, <clears throat> man, I, this is gonna be hilarious. You go. <laughs> the next award, we call this the Who's Man's Award. Now these niggas were either wilding for no reason, or we couldn't really figure out their purpose. You know what I mean? So uh, the nominees are. Allison Hargreaves on Umbrella Academy for trying to reverse rape her yeah, brother, like, bro. What the fuck? Like, whose man's is this? Like, what like, the fuck? Relax. F- what you, was you that, know your bro? Why yo, are you making she, him do this? Yo, like, why? Like, she was really wilding for no reason. The next. Literally every scene in the book of Boba Fett that had Boba Fett. It was just like, <laughs> whose man's is this? Like, what was the point of this? Like, this is no, bro. Next on the list. Oh, God. <laughs> The Miles Morales Thor comic. Now, just to give you guys some reference. <laughs> oh, my God. We're talking about both the dialogue and the arts, okay? Yes. The, the fact that Mjolnir had graffiti on it, <laughs> and of all, five, of all five realms, Asgard was his hood. That was oh a direct God. quote from the comic. And rather than it looking like a godly-type utopia, this should resemble Brooklyn with graffiti. Like... Yeah, also the, Bro, the like, artist was like <laughs> pushing back mad hard when people was like, this looks crazy. He was like, what do you mean? Like, I don't, like that's the hood. This was not a black artist, by the way, mm-hmm. or a writer. <laughs> just want to put that out there. Okay. Next on the list, the director of Moonfall. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, for trashing superhero movies, then putting that shit out. Yeah, okay? oh my God. <laughs> Leave my man alone, man. Who's man? That's my man. That's my man. So he off the he off the list immediately. I'm nah, playing good. Next, Spider Man Lotus. Oh no! For those not overly familiar with like YouTube fan uh movies, this was something that people were looking forward to. I mean, but it turns out, as always, social media's niggas downfall, and it turns out that. Wayne Warden, the Peter Parker of this movie, had mad racist He's racist. So he was he's wild. Racist the Peter fuck, Parker. Yo, he was wild the fuck out. Okay. So uh yeah. And finally, <laughs> DC's killing the night. Uh DC comic artist for depicting the Green Land and holding a bag of tamales for Latino heritage. Yeah, month. that was that was nuts. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yo. <laughs> Well, there you have it. <laughs> so, who do you guys have winning the Who's Man's is this award? Because honestly, like all these niggas is wild. That, that, did we give that that reverse the break? reverse rape? Yeah. Yo, Alison Hargreaves, yeah. bro, she was, crazy. Out, she, out, the the she was bugging out. Like, she was bugging the fuck yeah, out. She wins. Alison Hargreaves did not that. want. <laughs> Yo, did not want that shit <laughs> at all. Like, like, so what are you doing, girl? <laughs> Stop me! I heard a rumor. It was like, whoa, where are we taking this? Where are we taking this right now? So, uh. Okay. Clap it up, clap I guess. Up. Uh, no, what? don't clap it up. <laughs> Why you did that? <laughs> Please get <Yeah>. your award. <laughs> Fuck out of here. We I heard a rumor that you won you. this award. Like, come get oh your shit. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> Please. So, uh, this is the Dennis, the AKA award. <laughs> one of the most prestigious awards that we give because Dennis has been very consistent with the AKAs <laughs> for like three years. So, uh, we're going to... We're gonna go down a list of some of his best ones. Okay. We got M. Night Scamalam. <laughs> you feel me? We got Duke Skywalker. Darth ain't dead. Darth ain't dead. Darth ain't dead. <laughs> Say nigga that with a big blade. You feel me? <laughs> we also got Scheming Spielberg. That's a good one. My enemies call me Napod because ain't Napod fucking with us. That's a good one, Napod. <laughs> I left my <laughs> I let my aunt talk for me, my web talk for me, my suit talk for me. Blah, what up, homie? You feel me? Okay. Then we got Dendrin, the Slandalorian. Okay, Jesus Christ. Knees weak, arms is heavy, blood on the sweaty already. Reed spaghetti. Oh my God. Jolly Saint Zick. <laughs> I'm trying to get the Parappa Poo Poo's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we gotta give us the Parappa Boom Boom. Yeah, no. Jolly Saint Zick. That's crazy. Congratulations, Dennis, for being a Thank damn you. freak. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take give me a give me a goddamn speech, I guess. 
Yo, my speech, like, honestly, to prepare for this award, my speech is every episode when I do the intro. Know what I mean? So, that's a fact. Know what I mean, there, there you go. There you go. You, you want to hear the speech? Go listen to all the episodes. That's, that's a the, fact. That's the speech. Right. Take, take us to the next one. Take us to the next one. You want me to do the next one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. So, we're going to do the Future Films Award. This is the films we are most anticipating, most excited to see in 2023. Yes, sir. So, we're going to need everybody's input. Mm hmm. The first one is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Then we have Cocaine Bear. Cinema. Then we have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Yo. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> niggas gonna turn Winnie the Pooh into a horror? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. <laughs> uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Okay, okay. The Super Mario Brothers movie. Yahoo! The facts. <laughs> and then John Wick 4. Yo. Most anticipated? Just to throw niggas off, cocaine bear, nigga. Cocaine Fuck bear. that. It's this award. Bears. <laughs> cocaine bear. Cocaine and bear. Cocaine bear. Yes. Wins this award. <laughs> I, I know I'm going to see across the Spider Verse because I'm in a 360. Nate, deal. Y'all don't want to see fucking Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to probably be blood ass, but. Are nigga, we gonna watch it? We I want to see them. Honey and Blood together. Nigga? I need to see fuck? Cocaine Bear. I need nigga, to see, that I need bear to see a bear on do coke <laughs> and then wild and out. Terrorize them. I need to see that. <laughs> the fact that a movie is put together based on this concept, I need to see this. I need to see it, and it's based on a true story. Nah, the, the <laughs> what, what's that shit? The trailer is mad good. Yeah, OG. yo, do they have a train on the Winnie Pooh one or, or not? They do, man. and it's they ass. do. It's yeah, yeah. It's gonna be one of those movies that you watch, and it's just like. This did, shit sucks. Did you see Winnie the Pooh in the trailer? You see yeah, a, mask. a nigga dressed yeah, yeah. like Winnie the Pooh. Also, oh, it's not even like a small little. It's not nah, like a small little. Cocaine. That's why Cocaine Bear got a win, baby. Damn, cocaine man. Bear is yeah. way better. <laughs> so, yeah, All right. You go so, uh, one. shout out to Cocaine Bear. You know what I mean, for the winners, yo, shout out, yo. Cocaine he would come Bear. on stage, but you know, he, he was a little busy. Us, he so. a little busy backstage. Well, you know why what don't mean? they do Barney and Seth? That would have been better, honestly. That probably would have been. Yo, that be yeah, yeah, be kind of terrifying. Uh, next award. Club Couch Award. Yes, sir. What TV series are we most excited to binge in 2023? Mm -hmm. And the nominees are Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Season 3, Space Guns, mm -hmm. Invincible, Season 2, you know what I mean? The Last of Us, The Witcher, Blood Origin, featuring my boo, Michelle Yeoh, mm -hmm. Ahsoka, Secret Invasion, X Men ninety seven, fellas. What are you most excited to see next year? For me, that's a pretty tough list. If I had to knock some shit off, I would knock off The Witcher. I would also knock off The Witcher. I would the Witcher, knock off the last X Men ninety seven. I would knock off Secret Invasion. I would knock off Ahsoka. Y'all watched the last season of The Witcher, right? Yeah. 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 I didn't really like it that much. I mean, it's it's you know what the it first is. Season was good though. Yeah, it's the it's first not two it's seasons, I... it's not going to be with um Henry yeah, Cavill. It's more it's more of like a spinoff. Yeah, it's going to be more like a spinoff. So I uh, I'm excited to watch it, but mm -hmm. more excited to see and Mandalorian, Mandalorian, and then also Invincible. What about Invincible you, guys? Definitely going to be the one. But what was the other again? All right, so it the was uh, the us. Mandal, yeah, the man, the Last Mandalorian of us is a one that I'm not skeptical about, man. <laughs> uh, Invincible, trailer, it looked sort of good, but then it's like uh, Ahsoka, Wars, Mandalorian, Invincible, yeah, yeah it's Ahsoka. Mandalorian or Invincible. Those are the Mandalorian things. or Invincible, in my opinion. I want to say Invincible. You know why? Yeah. That first episode when it went quiet and they went crazy. Yeah, I think we talked about that. We never yeah, did yeah, an episode. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah, man, yeah. Mando is never going to disappoint. Yeah, like, that's true. He, he, but Invincible, Invincible look, after yeah. that first season, I want to see where they go, like, continue from that. All right, so, shout uh, out Invincible. Shout out to Invincible. Yeah, yes, sir. All right, this is an award that uh, we do every year for yes. all of us. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. It's about Collector of the Year. Ooh, this, is, this, is, this is very controversial Every year. A controversial award that goes to different people every year. Yes, yes. So, you know, um, these are the people who prove themselves to be the ultimate collector of the year. Person who proved themselves to be the ultimate collector of the year. Mm -hmm. And these are the nominees. A.O. Mayor, the homie. Shout out to the mayor. Me. Year. Tanez Bananas. Tana, 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 the Tana. Mr. Zambo Fanbo 7. Lego a, legend. A Lego legend. Untucked Jersey, the homie. Yes, Come sir. On, going crazy. Dennis, you. <laughs> Gas. Gas. 
Yeah, that nigga go crazy with those fucking rubrics. The homie. Yes. And the winner is, Mm. and I'm going to be honest, it's Dennis, because he did too much. That nigga did way too much. Listen to me. I'm coming on stage for this fucking award, and I want everybody, I especially want all the other nominees to hear me. I don't know. I don't know. He going to find out in a minute. (laughs) You going to find out in a minute. you don't know? Nah, because I know the re- cause I know the resale value of some of the stuff you have. So oh, he, yeah. he needs to see he needs to I see. But he needs know. shit. Yeah, he needs to see it. You got you gotta see the shit that he did. He did a lot though. I, I, I can't I, I, lie. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him. He blocked out a little bit. Uh, <laughs> he wilded out. He did he, he nigga made backgrounds and yeah. shit. Nigga got light activated. So you know how like you could say like Alexa uh whatever, yeah. right? The nigga goes. Yo, on your left, and the shit turns on and plays the Marvel theme. Da, 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 da. I was like, Jesus Christ! I, I'm coming on. St- listen, nominees, especially three, specifically three of you. I want y'all to listen to me real fucking carefully. I fucking told you I was taking this shit. This <laughs> <laughs> fucking told y'all niggas. It's kind of nuts. But thank you. But also, thank you. we're gonna put the video up for proof. Yes, yes, so, yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. sir. Uh, congratulations, Dennis. Thank you, thank you. Your award <laughs> is much deserved. <laughs> All right. So uh, the next, the next uh, award, we're coming into the to the nitty gritty right now. I mean, absolutely. Superhero film of the year. Mm-hmm. Now, who takes home the golden jeans? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And the nominees are the Batman. Mm-hmm. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, mm-hmm. Black Adam, mm-hmm. Spider Man: No Way Home, mm-hmm. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, fellas. Who do you have? Me? Batman. It's a, it's clear. Wait, uh, the Batman. Which one was the best one? The yeah. Batman. To me, it's the Batman, bro. Like it's the Batman. None of the none of the rest of them come that close to the Batman. Nah. Yeah, the Batman from from the, the soundtrack one. to like just. The whole movie, bro. Like cinematography, they yeah, killed I, that. I guess it would be Batman. the Batman. It's got, be it's gotta one. be, son. It's gotta be. The Batman takes that shit home. They got it. Shout yeah. out to Batman. Yeah. Shout, yeah. Out shout out our Pat, hey, our Bat, hey man, Robert Pattinson. I mean, shout y'all niggas out. Y'all killed that. I want to see him do Batman again, but it's fine. Mm. <laughs> we can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Time. All right, we gonna get to the final award, man. Yeah, take us home. Oh, give man, us, we, give we, it to we, us. Give it to us. Here all night. Yeah, we love you guys. Uh, this was a fantastic night. Now we're going to talk about the movie of the year, a.k.a. the Denim Scorsese. Yes. The Cinema. most prestigious award. Denim. Now, <laughs> here are the nominees. Mm-hmm. Pray. Good movie. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. <laughs> fantastic movie. The Batman. Just one. The new Top Gun. Really good. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Really, really good. And a holiday movie, Violent Night. Yay. Listen. <laughs> All right. So are we picking? Because if I have to pick. If I have to pick, I say everything everywhere. Everything all at once. everywhere all at once. And the reason for that is the Batman is the best superhero movie of yeah. the year. But this but movie, movie of the year? Nigga, we saw that shit together, bro. Yeah, and it was amazing. That shit was, was literally movie was that? Every, everything. It's like a multiversal like movie. Oh, okay. the, everything that, that, everywhere all at once. It's really that good. shit was good, bro. And it was emotional. Was it was it was everything. Packed. It was it the was, title, son. It was, it was everything it was everywhere. Everything I mean, everywhere as long as we're not mentioning Wakanda. Nah, 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 nah. Everything everywhere all at once. Like honestly, if I didn't pick everything everywhere all at once, I'd even say Prey or Violent Night. Violent like Night was really good. Two other good Violent Night was decisions. like Prey was really good. It like caught me off guard yes. how good it was. Like Prey was really good. Batman, Violent Night was really good too. Bat, like I feel like the each Batman of these are like really good. are like their best of the year for their specific thing. Like yeah. superhero, the Batman, easy. Prey, if I was thinking of like a not necessarily indie movie, but like a smaller budget film. Definitely the movie of the year for Black that. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever might be the best in Phase Four. Yes, and Violent Night for like just Christmas Holiday, stuff. You already know how yeah, I feel. Like that's the top shit. of my list. And Top Gun is like way Top better Gun was than a the first crazy one. blockbuster. And yes, it was so great. Like so, Tom, shout out, just shout out Tom Cruise just because. Yeah, like, everything, that everywhere, all at once. That movie was perfect to me. That like it was fun. Congrats. It was fucking. Emotional. It was action packed. It was like niggas like crazy. It was, it was. It had the night deviant shit. Niggas was falling on dildos. Like was fighting with niggas the dicks. had niggas, niggas had, had glizzy the dicks. fingers. They, son, yo, they really pull, <laughs> well, they out pulled out the with dicks. the dicks. <laughs> pulled up with them dicks. I was like, wow, this is the greatest movie of all time. Niggas had glizzy fingers. Like, yeah. yo, that movie was like everything 
everywhere all at once. So, yes. So, the final winner, of course, again, is Everything my boo, Michelle. Yo, out, like, out, please. Shout out, shout out, y'all. And the six editors that yo. did that whole entire movie. Insane, bro. Insane. Shout out to them. So, uh, wow. This, this has been another great genies, bro. Like, yes, you know sir. what I mean? The team brought home some awards. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. We gave out a couple. Yo, somebody please track down Ezra Miller. You know what I mean? Yeah, he needs his two awards. <laughs> oh, well, their two awards. <laughs> Shout out the Ninja Turtles for, for, you know what I mean, with the, the surprise wins. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? We had a lot. It was it was a good night. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Shout out me. Again, collector of the year. <laughs> Let y'all motherfuckers know. AK. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Yo, no, shout out everybody. Honestly, you know, shout out the, the Gene Lantern community, you know what I mean, for supporting all the time. Love you guys, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to everybody that just listens or retweets or, like, whatever. Just fucks with the fucks with us, period. You know what I mean? Just shout out to y'all. Um, just one more little thing I wanted to throw in there. By the time y'all hear this episode, we do have, like, a, a special fucking Gene Lantern goal which is to hit, like, 20 fucking Patreons. Mm-hmm. And and to throw in, just like I showed Colton, y'all haven't seen it yet, but if you're one of the first 20, you know what I mean? Niggas is getting Gene Lantern rings, you know what I yes, mean? Yes, sir, we got the Gene Lantern rings <laughs> on niggas the got, way. Yes, yes. So, you know, if you know somebody that should fuck with the brand and fuck with us, tell them to sign on to the Patreon. Niggas is getting Gene Lantern rings, you know what I mean? Um, other than that, final words, you know what I mean? I'm going to let y'all uh, wrap us up. Only, only thing I have to say is just thank you. I mean, y'all y'all the reason why we do this shit. I mean, yes. y'all, y'all support what we do. Uh, retweet it. Y'all tell y'all homies. Y'all pass the videos along. Y'all, y'all participate in half of the fucking crazy conversations that we have on Twitter and shit. Facts. Shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? So uh, that's all I got. What about you? Um, the My worthies is y'all, man. Facts. Everybody who listens, everybody who shares, everybody who yes. like uh, is in every conversation that we're in. When mm-hmm. we do the danger rooms, when yes, we sir. do like random theories, like it's all because of you guys, man. We 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 make this content because of y'all. We also do it for ourselves, but like you guys are a big driving force of that. So thank you guys. Also thank Gas because uh, without him, man, we, it Yo. wouldn't be crisp. Crisps. We wouldn't have crisp sound. You know what I mean? Sound. Nobody would give a fuck about the pod. Word. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, shit is, he's a mastermind. This shit is I don't know. Sprite. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what he does. But he's a mastermind. Marketing yeah. genius. This nigga is, nigga's out here. That's yo, why we, we this wouldn't why have gotten we, nowhere without We sound boy. Sprite crisp because of this nigga. And then, uh, like, just thank <laughs> Dennis, man, Like, because he stays on... Uh, Stays on a brother. Yeah, you know I mean, together, <laughs> we keep it going sure that, though. Like, we keep it moving. We doing what we got to do, and uh, yeah. Shout man, yourself. Shout out myself, man. Word. For, for just you know, I, I love this. I, I love this podcast. I love everybody here. You yes, guys sir. are all family, and um, I just want this to go on forever, and I want us to to get bigger and better and, and make money, and then we could throw events for everybody, and it just, nigga, we could just keep going. And that's <laughs> I want to throw. In, I want to throw in one more uh, special worthy. Uh, I don't know if this person hears the podcast or not, and y'all may not get the reference. But yo, shout out to uh, Gas and Colton's mom for hooking me up with that sweet potato pie. That shit was fucking <laughs> fire. Yes, and sir. I haven't had a chance to tell her, so I'm telling her on air. Facts, okay. <laughs> that shit was facts, fucking facts. fire, okay? <laughs> hey, do you want me to do the, uh, the get, send us home? Yeah, send us right. home for 2022, bro. End okay. this year. After all the crazy shit we had happen this year, all even tonight with the genies, you know what I mean? Like, give us something before the ball drops for niggas to think about and contemplate going into 2023. Okay. More jeans. <laughs> more boot cuts. More denim. Yes. The longer the denim, the better. <laughs> We wearing denim in any weather. <laughs> we wearing denim that might be leather. Mm. Oh, let me start s- snapping. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Y'all bitches. Mm. That's the end. <laughs> Haiku, niggas. Me. <laughs> we out. See y'all niggas in 2023. You heard? Yeah. <laughs>